Alright guys, welcome back. So in the last video we learned about the grid layout. In this video we are going to learn how to take input from the user into our application. And we'll be doing that using text input functionality inside Kiwi. And we'll also be messing around with grid layouts and also nested layouts. So first let's import the text input functionality. So we're just going to write from Kiwi dot UIX and then text input and in capital letters we are just going to import this text input functionality and then inside this pull function we are just going to write a variable so let's just give it a value of uh, let's just say value this is just a variable name and this we are going to use the text input functionality and it's going to require a text parameter which says what we want to enter over here so I'm just going to write um, enter value here and let's just return this value on the screen for now and see how it looks. So let's run the main.py file. So we can see that there's this text input functionality and you can just write stuff over here. But this is taking up the whole screen and it's not looking very good. So what we are going to do is we are going to add some other text input over here and maybe create a submit button. And on clicking the submit button is going to just print out the values of maybe weight and height on our console and we'll also be making sure that it arranges properly using the grid layout so what we are going to do is instead of this value let's create a variable of weight so i'm just going to write weight over here and instead of enter value here let's just write weight and then i'm just going to copy and paste this below for height so that we have two text inputs so let's write h over here and instead of weight let's write it h so that we can make it height and also let's import this button functionality from here so instead of text input let's just add a button over here and obviously this is pretty simple you guys probably already know how to do it and then to create the button we are just gonna write a button variable actually let's call it the submit variable and then over here we are just gonna use our button functionality and it's gonna take a value of text and let's just write submit over here and then what happens when the submit button is pressed so we are going to add another event over here of on underscore press and whenever this button is pressed we want to call a function so let's create a function of uh, let's say submit so i'm just going to write a submit function over here and uh, let's actually create this submit function right now as long as we have time so i'm just going to write def submit and it's going to take two values of self and object so obviously whenever we press a button is going to come to this method of test submit and it always requires two values of self and object and inside this we are just going to print the value of our weight and height so whenever you want to pass the values of weight and height to another method that is inside a class so this is a main app class and we are calling another method of this uh, button class or button value so what we want to do is in this weight we first want to write self dot weight otherwise we can't really take the values of weight and height inside this submit method so what we're going to do is even with height we're just going to write self dot height and then inside this submit method we are just going to print out the weight so let's print out the weight inside double quotes we are just going to write weight and then we are just going to add self dot weight dot text because this will be an object of weight and we want the text from it so similarly we also want to get the value Value of height so I'm just gonna print it over here and instead of weight I'm just gonna put an H and similarly for this one so now that we have created this summit button let's actually add our grid layout to it so just like we did with our uh, button and we already discussed it in the last video so instead of the button we are gonna import the grid layout functionality and let's import this too with a capital G and then let's create a layout variable so I'm just gonna write layout equals to grid layout and inside this uh, let's just put the columns equals to 2 so cols equals to 2 and let's add all of these three things inside our layout so that is pretty easy you just write layout dot add widget and first let's add the weight over here so let's just write self dot weight and i'm just gonna copy and paste this again for height so instead of weight let's do height and we also need to add our submit button so i'm also gonna add that add widget and submit button and let's just uh, return this layout value over here and that should be pretty much it so let's format everything properly and now let's see how it looks so let's reload our program and now you can see that there is this enter weight here enter height here and this submit button is over here so let's actually try it out so over here let's say our weight is uh, somewhere around 75 kgs pretty good weight and our height is let's say six feet 
Now, I don't know what's the proper BMI for it, but I'm just gonna assume these are the values. So if we click the submit button, the value should get printed in our console window. So let's press the submit button and you can see that the weight and the height have been printed. So now let's actually make sure that this looks a little bit good. So in the last video, we learned how to make sure that the height of all of these three widgets gets to a constant value. So we are gonna be using this grid layout and changing the row height. So to do that, it's pretty simple. You just write row force underscore default. You have to make sure that the default spelling is correct. I mess it all the time. And we give it a value of true and then we want to give it a height. So we are just gonna write row underscore default. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this default value. I don't wanna mess around with this. And then after that, we just put in the height and I'm gonna give it a value of 40 pixels in height. So let's format everything properly and let's reload it again to see how it looks. So now you can see we have a weight over here, a height over here and a submit button over here. But these are looking very fixed and these are touching the window of our screen. So let's give it a little bit of padding and spacing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a comma over here and then I'm gonna give a spacing of maybe like 10 pixels and I'm gonna give it a padding of maybe 20 pixels. And now let's see how it looks. Reload our program and now you can see it looks a lot better. And now we can just uh, like pr just put in stuff here and click on submit and you can see that on the console it's being printed. So this is pretty much it for this video guys. So we'll be learning about nested layouts and how to put a grid layout inside a box layout and stuff like that when we are actually building a practical mobile application. Because if I just show it to you guys like this, you won't understand it properly. But when we are actually building a mobile app, then it might be better to learn it like that. So this is pretty much it for this video guys. I'll see you in the next video where we'll be starting with learning Kiwi MD. So I'll see you over there.